Hello, crafty family. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Anthony. I'm back today with another Mass Make Monday. Today we will be mass making some um, journal cards using uh, index cards. I have three different size index cards. Two of them are lined and this large one here is unlined. But I am going to combine my Mass Make Monday with my um, Christmas in July. So I will be using napkins and I will be putting them on the index cards on the blank side so they can be used for um, journaling cards for my junk journals. So I have some Christmas napkins I pulled from my stash. So I have this one here with Santa and he has a bag of toys. And then I have this one here. Uh, it has Santa again. I have this one with the little car with the Christmas tree. I have this one here with Christmas lights. And I have this one with the poinsettias. This one here, it's more like a wintry scene, but it has the, the deer. And then I have this Christmas one with the teddy bears. I have this one with the three snow people. And then I have one with more poinsettias and greenery. So I'm going to see how much of them I can get finished. Um, right now I'm just doing the bases. I did pull other items to decorate. Um, if it doesn't take me too long, I have buttons and bling and stickers and lace. And I do have my washi tape still out. So we'll see um, how far we get. Okay, first off, I want to remove the backing, the, the plies off of my napkins. I removed them off of all of them except for one, so I can show you how I do that. So I'm going to take the Santa one. Most of the Dollar Tree ones that I get usually only have one ply, but you never know, you need to check to see. But I just take a piece of scotch tape or washi tape and I stick it on and then I pull to try to release the layer. And then I just gently pull it off. A couple of them I ripped because I was rushing and pulling too fast. And then I save this part. I can use it for cleanup. So... And this one, I can tell that it's only the, the one ply, I think. Let me make sure. That's how I end up ripping them because sometimes it looks like this one kind of looks like there's another layer. But I don't, I don't think it is. What's going to happen is I'm going to end up ripping it, trying to find out. So, yeah. Yeah, that one's only one ply. So, anyway, that's how you take it off. Using tape, just pull. Some people wet their finger and, and then do like this. And usually if it's another one, another ply, it'll separate. So... Okay, what do I want to start with? Let's see. This is one of the smaller ones. Lines on that side. I will be using Mod Podge. I just have some of the Dollar Tree Mod Podge. This is the, 
the gloss one. They do have it in matte. I just poured some on here and I'm going to paint, paint it onto my index card. But first I want to uh, see how this fits on there. If I want to do it that way or that way. If I do it this way, this much of only that much of the tree shows so if I go in and do it this way I can get the entire tree on let's see how much of the car well it does cut off some of the car but I am going to go ahead and use one of these pictures now this napkin you get four pictures so I'm going to go ahead and just cut one of the pictures off I could also cut around this the picture you don't have to use the whole entire piece of the napkin but I'm gonna go ahead and put the whole thing on so I'm just gonna start off by adding glue to the entire index card Oops. And then I'm going to lay it on. And I'm trying to rub from the middle out. I'm gonna try these without putting the Mod Podge over it. I'm just going to put it on, on the bottom. So this one will look like that when I cut the axis off. Let's go ahead and do another one with another car image. It may curl a little bit, but they flatten out. You can always um, put something a little heavier um, on top of it. So let's see. I definitely want the front part of the car. And I'm just smoothing it out with my finger. And then I like to add a little more on the edges. Put a little on top there. So right now I'm just adding a little on top around the edges. I do want these to stay down. I may go back later and sew around some of these. So there's, there's two small ones then. I have this medium sized one here. I'm going to go ahead and pick out a napkin for it. I think I want to do the teddy bears. Let's see. Yeah. 
I want to make sure I don't cut off the head of these three here. Where's my card at? Okay, let's see here. Let's move it up some because I want to get the Merry Christmas in here as well. Okay, I'm going to add my Mod Podge to this side. And then I'm going to go ahead and place just the side on first. Just like that. And then go ahead and add the rest of the glue here. This is a pretty easy project and you can do use any napkins that you like. I have uh, a lot of napkins in my stash of supplies. So I will probably do some for Halloween as well and get them ready for some journals. I want to make some of these for uh, Happy Mail. So just like that. There's my scissors. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this. I think these might cut better, let's see. You also could use your water brush to um, go around images and just cut out exactly what you need. It'll help you get the excess napkin off the project. I may use all the scraps and make like a master board as well. That way I'm not wasting any of my napkin. This I could, oops, I'm cutting my card. Collage onto a piece of card stock and cut it up to make some other items with. I think these will look cute with some, some um, sewing, some stitches around them. Once they're dry, I'm going to round the corners probably. But how cute is that? Cute little journaling card. I'll go ahead and trim the car.
also this one here is the one that I um, put the Mod Podge over the top. This one I did not, and it doesn't feel sticky. And as I had said, I was worried about it being sticky. I was watching um, Gail Augustinelli's Mixed Media Monday video where she's jelly printing with baby powder re resist. And she mentioned that if you sprinkle a little baby powder on your uh, Mod Podge pages, that will eliminate the stickiness. Um, decorate these up a little bit. Not too much because um, we don't want them lumpy and bumpy. I want to use this one. Okay, let's see here. I have these snowflake stickers here from Dollar Tree. Just gonna put a little glue. A little glue, not gonna do too much on them. And then maybe one hanging off, just like half. Let's see. See how cute that makes a really cute journal card. So just want to add a few extra embellishments on these. Just trimming it up a little bit. Yeah, so I still can write on them. Let's see, I think I'm, that's all I'm gonna do. Well, maybe one more sticker. Why not? It's like right there. And I think that's really cute. Now, the teddy bears, I do have my little Christmas buttons I got from Timo. Last year, a couple years ago, whatever, I don't remember. And I think I'm just going to glue one 
right in the corner. Uh, some of these I do have uh, white string through them. This one I'm just going to glue on just like that. So like a couple of them I've already added uh, some string in them through the holes. And I think I'm going to just do that there. And then do I want a, a bowl? I think I do. I want to put a little bowl in the corner here. And I think I'm going to staple this one on. Maybe put a little washi tape on the back. And there is a cute little little journaling card. See that? Okay, what do I want to do for this this one here? Let's see, what do I have in here? about this live gently upon the, this earth it does I mean because this is not really Christmassy so I kind of like that let me just I can always change it later I just uh, for now for our video purposes I I just want to show you that you can put, add some words to your journaling card. So just adding a few little things to decorate it is super cute. And right on the back. 
and there we go. So that is my Maths Monday video as well as Christmas in July because I'm using my Christmas napkins to alter these index cards. So I hope you like the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. I would love to have you be a part of my small little crafty family. Until the next one, everyone, keep crafting. Bye-bye.